Assalamualaikum Hi, so now we we'll look at example 2 from chapter 9 So what we have in the question is The expression for the displacement x Of an object undergoing linear simple harmonic motion Is given by So this is the equation Sorry, expression For displacement of a simple harmonic motion object Where it is given that x and t are measured in centimeter and second respectively so which means that our displacement is in the unit of centimeter and our time is in the unit of second determine the amplitude period and frequency of the oscillation and the displacement at t is equals to 0 0.02 seconds so we have two questions here Alright, however, before we start, I would like to remind you people, not remind me, I would like to inform you people that for chapter 9, the calculator must be in radian mode. Okay, because the trigonometric that we have here, yeah, it is sine, cos, all these have different values when we use a radian. So, as our object is undergoing angular term and they have this trigo, we are going to use radian mode. Okay, your calculator must be in the radian mode. Okay, so make sure you first change your calculator before we do this example. So the question given here is x is equals to 3.5 sine 8 pi t plus pi over 2. And then the question asks to ident uh, determine the amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum displacement which is the a here. Period is the T and frequency is the F. So, to find all these terms, first what we do is we compare our given equation in the question with the general equation which is X is equals to A sine omega T plus minus V. So, this is what we have in the general. And as you can see, both the equation, equation given in the question and the general equation has the same shape of the graph. Both have the sine graph. So since they have the same shape, we can straight away compare them to identify the amplitude, the period and also the frequency. So now we can straight away look as we can see 3.5 here is our amplitude basically. 3.5 is the amplitude. Therefore, I can simply write my amplitude here is equals to 3.5. Okay, remember to write the unit. Given that the x here is measured in centimeter, if the displacement is in the centimeter, marker, our amplitude here will also be in centimeter because amplitude is the maximum displacement. And then next, to find the period. Alright, to find the period, period, the equation for period can be obtained from the equation of the angular frequency as omega is equals to 2 pi over t. Same goes to the frequency where omega is equals to 2 pi f. So, if you know the omega, you can find your period and your frequency. So, what we do is we compare from the E equation as we can see this is our omega in the equation where we have bracket omega multiply with the t so when you compare you have bracket 8 pi multiply with the t so the whole term here 8 pi here represent our omega this whole 8 pi is our omega so omega is equals to 8 pi radian per second therefore period becomes 2 pi we arrange this equation divided by the omega which is 8 pi so you will end up with 0 0.25 second and then from there you can find your frequency you can either use the general equation where f is equals to 1 over t you can simply do that you'll get 4 hertz or you can also use this equation here omega is equals to 2 pi f and then next, the displacement at x, sorry, at t is equal to 0 0.02 seconds. So we want to know what is the value of the displacement at a specific given time, which is at 0 0.02. So given the equation is 3.5 sine 8 pi t plus pi over 2. And as we can see in this equation, there is only two unknown, which is the x and the t. 
okay which is the x and the t when your t changes the value of x is going to change so this x here depends on the t as t changes the value of x akan berubah juga okay so now they say that t is equals to 0.02 second what is the x so what are we going to do is we're going to insert all the information given which is the t lah basically satu je kan yang lain semua kita dah tahu is already in the question masukkan you press your calculator remember your calculator must be in the radian mode and buat satu satu je okay remember if you must have to include uh, bracket silalah masukkan bracket jangan salah tekan okay and then multiply with 3.5 you should get 3.07 centimeter as my displacement that's it remember calculator in radian mode kalau tak dapat maksudnya kalau kita bukan radian mode check itu dulu and then kalau dah radian masih tak dapat check balik cara kamu insert the information in the question pastikan uh, kalau rasa tak reti nak guna calculator tulis sekaligus buat satu-satu selesaikan ini and then campur dengan ini and then signkan dia and then baru darab dengan 3.5 if you think you can do one shot tak ada masalah pastikan you check back dekat mana nak letak bracket